What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Argentina 24 Premium Pack. Now this is what it comes with. Obviously you're going to be drawn to Leo Messi. This is an 87 at level 1 Leo Messi. He's got a brand new card. He's got a brand new booster. The Undisputed. And he's got some really nice player skills, really nice stats. But is it the best Messi that they've ever released? How does his booster stack up? We're going to compare a load of different versions of Messi to make you guys have a clearer picture as to what exactly the player will do for you. Now, we also have a load of other players in here that are worth training up as well as 40,000 trainer points. And the pick of the pack is probably Scaloni. So this is going to be a review of the manager as well. If you guys want to see a proper gameplay review of Scaloni and how he'll work, I'm going to do a video on the new meta for every single one of these managers. I'm also going to do a review on them and rate the managers with V3.6 new gameplay and the slightly tweaked mechanics that we'll get into as well. If you guys missed a stream, you can go back and watch that. We did about 10 hours of worth of a stream. Now, the big thing with Scaloni and these new managers, his booster is giving you a plus one to all stats in your squad, too low pass, but his team play style proficiency with V3.6, they have introduced double proficiency managers that means that you start with possession game you can switch to quick counter Scaloni has got 87 with possession game and 86 with quick counter and also he's going to give you match experience points for players 23 years and younger but it's the team play style proficiency probably coupled with Messi I would say Fernandez and Paul that are probably going to be the selling point for this it's 1500 coins we did get this yesterday live on stream due to donations but a uh, huge shout out to everybody that supported that but this is 1500 coins and it is the same as the French premium pack. The rest of the packs are 900 coins. We'll get into those as well, right? So, I'm going to firstly talk about the players, right? Is it worth training these guys up? Preferably for me, if you're playing with a squad like this, you're kind of looking to get maybe three or four players in. If you're starting off and you're buying a couple of these packs, they definitely are a brilliant launch pad for you building a, a, a proper team that's competitive, right? And I do feel that like we've trained up a couple of the players here. I would say that there's one or two hidden gems in this pack that I've been blown away with. And also, you know what you're going to be getting with Leo Messi. You know what you're going to be getting with Enzo Fernandez. It's a very solid starting 11, right? You've got a really solid pairing in the, mid in the middle of defense here. Even though Romero and Otamendi are both destroyers, Portugal have that same issue with their squad as well. But the big thing is, these players that you're going to be basing your team around, Leo Messi, Fernandez, and Molina and DePaul. Molina has been absolutely insane in every game we played since we got him. He's insane uh, defending, even though he's got very, very poor defensive stats and he's down as an attacking fullback. But his acceleration, his speed, his balance, his dribbling, his tight possession, everything is where you want it to be for an attacking fullback. He was outperforming Trent and not leaving as many gaps at the back as Trent. That is where we would start. And we're going to say that this is his, a player that we definitely will train up. 0588708. And that is the build that we have for the right back there. We don't have given him any, we haven't given him any real skills as of yet. I feel like with the squad I have, it's different because I obviously have everybody at right back that you could possibly want. Trent, Lamb, Bergomi, Wambasaka. Um, but in terms of testing these out for, you know, for you guys, I definitely feel he is going to surprise you. He's definitely a player that, I, I was blown away how good he was, man. He was defending, he was really, really tigerish in the tackle, sprinting past people very, very well. Um, for the rest, Otamendi, Romero and Tagliafico at the back. These guys are just kind of generic destroyers. Obviously, they have speed. They can go into the 80s if you're training them up. Get that speed into the 80. Max out the aggression of any destroyer that you possibly want. Again with Otamendi. 25 levels for Otamendi. And Romero has 25 levels as well. So they are kind of a little bit tight on the levels there. You know what you're going to be getting from Martinez as well. It's not going to be a meta goalkeeper with 21 levels. That is a bit of a concern. I actually haven't even trained these guys up because we did buy other packs and we're going to be testing out different players and stuff. And I obviously have Petr Cech. But if you are starting off, this Portuguese or this Argentina pack and the Portuguese pack are very similar because they've got two destroyer center backs, Romero and Otamendi versus Pepe and Ruben Diaz. And also the goalkeeper and the fullbacks are very similar as well. So that is something that you might consider. What's probably going to swing it for you is Leo Messi and DePaul and Enzo. They're the three big picks of this, right? Now, before we get into the player guides, or actually I'll finish with the player guides of this, right? If you guys were watching the stream yesterday, Enzo Fernandez was beasting for me, man. Box to box, really defensive, really solid in the tackle. 
25 levels is not that much. We haven't given him any additional skills. I would definitely recommend, if you could, maybe give him interception or blocker to add to that defensive capabilities. But he's got everything you could possibly want for playing the ball forward. True passing, low lofted, and of course, the one touch with fighting spirit and soul control. Very nice, especially with the way that they've tweaked the dribbling a little bit. I think he could be a beast. We played seven matches with him, had one assist. But, um... We were playing him as a defensive option in the middle of the park. And he was just absolutely beastly, man. He was so good. And there is stats. This is his build. We'll go through this rather quickly. 0 2 6 2 10, 0, 10 into defending. If you are set and you do not need a defensive option on this guy, you can take probably about six points off defending and throw him into either acceleration or you can throw him into speed to have him zipping around the place. We went for a very defensive build in this. It's not the best build maybe for you, but I definitely think if you're looking for a defensive box-to-box -box with the way the gameplay has gone for V3.6, there will be another free reset soon. So you could try out this build. It is beastly. Also, I would say that the Paul is definitely kind of a hidden gem as well. I don't see a lot of people using him. He has obviously got a brand new face uh, and hairstyle. Not a new face, but he's got his new hairstyle with the hairband in as well, if you're into that uh, kind of thing in terms of updating the faces and stuff. Speed, acceleration, kick and power, 85 balance. Very, very solid card. 91 type possession. And this is the build that we've gone for for him here. 2, 4, 8, 10, 10, 0, and 6 into defending. I think the trick with any attacking midfielder that can get 80 aggression, it's game changing if you want to win the ball back and just super press your opponents. If you're playing meta, that's what you need to do. Very good type possession, low pass. Everything over 85 is a must on this card. And then, of course, we have Garnacho as well, which is your traditional prolific winger. 95 balance and acceleration, 91 dribbling, 85 type possession, 81 dribbling, 91 speed, 88 ball control. Very, very solid. Doesn't have that many player skills, which is a bit of a bust. But very pacey. But it all does come down to Messi, boys. Messi is Messi. And Messi, this Messi is a deep line forward. We've actually trained this Messi up very nicely. He does have double touch, but he doesn't have soul control and flip flaps. So you'll need to give him that. The Roman flank Messi does have ball roll. Um, if you wanted to go that route. And if you already have a previous version of Messi that goes over 100 rating. I definitely don't think you need this Messi. If you're picking between this pack and the French pack, you might be surprised by my, my, me advising you guys maybe not to get this version of Messi if you already have a version of Messi that goes to about 101, 102 overall. Especially if you have the older World Cup Messi that I'm going to show you here, right? So this card here that you see with the one-touch pass, he's undisputed. It's a very nice card. The attacking awareness on this card is key for how good he is. But... There is a problem at the moment with deep line forwards that they, instead of come out in front of the defender, the defender always seems to get out in front of him. So you have to play Messi a lot of one-two passes and turn and go with him, which he can do. 99 balance, 95 acceleration and tight possession. Insane. Finishing at 91. But it's all going to be about how we build him. And this is how we built him here. 4, 3, 8, 11, 10, 6, 0 for the rest. And we're also going to compare him. So this is really the decision you need to make, right? We're going to look at the big time Messi, 104, 104 each. Obviously, we're going to get the boost with Scaloni there. Look at the difference in the stats here. The big key for this Messi, the new Messi in the premium pack that we're talking about today with Scaloni, is 99 attacking awareness. I think that's why he's kind of a little bit funky in terms of his movement, because it's kind of conflicting. Deep line forward is meant to come forward for the ball. And this kind of player... I feel like his attack and awareness is nearly too high. Um, but you have to kind of go this high with it if you want to get his acceleration to 95 and you want to get that key stat of balance to be at least 99 because it does make a difference for him. The rest of the card is very, very much so identical. Finishing is the same. Obviously, acceleration, the, the old Messi big time is going to be better. Physical contact, the old Messi is going to be better. But if you missed out on that old school big time Messi was in the trio of packs, trio Messi pack, this Messi is fantastic. And obviously, we've trained this guy up again and we've given him different kind of skills and stuff. Um, but yeah, including acrobatic clearance for some reason. I don't know why we did that. But it all does come down to Scaloni, lads. Now, right, I'm going to do a specific video on this. I think Scaloni is not going to be the total meta because a lot of people don't play possession. But the big trick with these cards is if you are playing a possession game to start off and you quickly switch to quick counter, you can start off with this formation. If you go a goal down, you can switch to your sub tactic and you can have a brand new different formation and a brand new different setup with different individual instructions with everything kind of switched around. So if you're coming up against a really good sweaty opponent or a really high ranked uh, division opponent, 
that is kind of on top of you. You can switch this around very effectively and go into a flat tree at the uh, back with, you know, having a lot of options up front if you wanted to go that route. There's lots of different things that you can do with these cards. You know, you can go like this. You could put Demaria attacking midfielder. Um... You could put, obviously, Melina back here, right back, if you wanted to do that. You can go that route, or obviously you can make a couple of substitutions or whatever. But you could go very attacking here if you wanted to go that route uh, with this. And obviously, it depends on the players that you are going to be picking. You don't have to pick this exact team. But you can go on the fly and just take off Garnacho then for another SS or a center forward. And you can have a very different style of team here if you want to go that route. And, of course, that is where Scaloni will come in, because you're starting off with one formation... And you're not really dropping off because you have the team play style 87 for possession and 86 for quick counter. If you look at defending when you're a quick counter, you're super high. With possession, you're also super high. So the transition from possession to quick counter with sub tactic isn't as rough as it is from other formations moving, you know, maybe long ball to something else. And we'll have a look at um We'll have a look at uh, Southgate very, very soon as well. But that is a deep dive in it, lads. As I said, DePaul, Enzo Fernandez, Molina, and of course Messi and Garnacho are definitely worth training up. Depending on where you are with your eFootball journey, this could be a brilliant team to get involved with if you have not got previous versions of Messi. But if you have a previous version of Big Time Messi that goes to 101, 102 overall, or even more, I would say that you could skip it because there are better players in other packs which we, we will get into, including the French pack, which is going to be up next. If you guys enjoyed that video, that deep dive video, I will be back very soon with another one. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.